Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are to calculate the area of this triangle PQR. We have the length of this line segment to be 16 units. That of this is 18 units. Here we see this segment and this are congruent. We have here a right angle. And this is also a right angle. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of this triangle PQR? It is very simple. Come here. Assume this point to be S. Now look at this triangle. We see this is a CVN and it divides this side into two segments of length 18 units and 16 units. There is the CVN ratio theorem. So if you assume the area of this to be capital B and thus D, B divided by this D must be equal to this 18 divided by this 16. So B over D equal to 18 over 16. Let's do something again. Let B equal to 18B. Substitute it here. So 18B over D equal to 18 over 16. This 18 cancels this 18. So V over D equal to 1 over 16. Cross multiply. V times 16 is 16V. And D times 1 is D. So 16V equal to D. That is D equal to 16V. So this D is 16V. Now come here. Call this point T. From point T, draw a line segment to this point S. Now look at this triangle QST. It also has this CVN dividing this set of 8 into 2 segments of length. 18 units and 16 units. So by the CVN ratio theorem, the area of this triangle, let's assume it to be 16H, divided by that of this CC, must be equal to this 16 divided by this 18. So 16H over C equal to 16 over 18. This 16 divided by this 16 is 1. So H over C equal to 1 over 18. We cross multiply. H times 18 is 18H. And C times 1 is C. So 18H equal to C. That is C equal to 18H. Replace this C with 18H. We come to this triangle PRT. This line ST bisect this side of it. That is, it is a median of the triangle. And we know the median of a triangle along with the side it bisects, it also bisects the area, meaning it divides it into two triangles with equal areas. That is, this triangle and this triangle have equal areas. So since this has its area to be the summation of this 16V and this 16H, the area of this must also be 16V plus 16H. We look at this triangle PQR. This line QS bisects this side of it. That is, it is a median of the triangle as well. Therefore, this triangle PQS and this QSR will have equal areas. The area of this triangle is the summation of this 18V and this 16V, while that of this is the summation of this 16H, this 18 v and this 16V plus 16H. So 18V plus 16H equal to 18H plus 16H plus 16V plus 16H. This 16V will eliminate this 16V. 
18H plus 16H plus 16H is 50H. So 18V equal to 50H. 18V is 9V times 2. While 50H is 25H times 2. 2 eliminates 2. So 9V equal to 25H. Divide through by H. Here H cancels H. So 9V over H equal to 25. Multiply through by 1 over 9. Here 9V over H times 1 over 9 is V over H. While here 25 times 1 over 9 is 25 over 9. So V over H equal to 25 over 9. Now come to this triangle. We see this CVN divided into two triangles of area 18V and 18H. By the rule which we used earlier, if we assume the length of this side to be M and that of this to be N, it will be 18V over 18H equal to M over N. This 18 cancels this 18. V over H, we have its value here to be 25 over 9. We substitute it. So 25 over 9 equal to M over N. Let's do something. Assume. Substitute it here and here. So 25 over 9 equal to 25X over N. This 25 cancels this 25. So 1 over 9 equal to x over n. Cross multiply. 1 times n is n. And 9 times x is 9x. So n equal to 9x. That is, this side is 9x units in length. We look at this triangle. With respect to this CVN, it divides it into this triangle and this. So using the CVM ratio theorem, the area of this, which is the summation of this 18V and this 18H, divided by that of this, which is the sum of this 16V, this 16H, and this 16V plus 16H, must be equal to this line segment CR divided by this CS. So 18V plus 18H all over 16V plus 16H plus 16V plus 16H equal to R over S. 18V plus 18H, we can factor out 18. So it is 18 into V plus H. While he collects the like terms, 16V plus 16V is 32V and 16H plus 16H is 32H. From 32V plus 32H, we can factor out 32, so it is 32 into bracket V plus H. This V plus H eliminates this V plus H. 18 is 9 times 2, while 32 is 16 times 2. This 2 cancels this 2, so 9 over 16 equal to R over S. We want to do something. This R which is the length of this line segment, change it to 9R. So here it's 9 over 16 equal to 9R over S. This 9 cancels this 9. So 1 over 16 equal to R over S. If we cross multiply, S equal to 16R. Now back to this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. And we have this CVN drawn from the vertex of the right angle perpendicular to this side of it. There is the altitude on hypotenuse theorem which states that in a right angle triangle the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean of the segment of the hypotenuse. What it simply means is that the product of the length of these two line segments of the hypotenuse equals the square of this altitude which is the summation of this 25x and this 9x 
So 9r times 16r equal to 25x plus 9x all squared. 9r times 16r is 144r squared. Here, 25x plus 9x is 34x. 34x all squared is 1156x squared. So 144r squared equal to 1156x squared. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here, square root of 144r squared is 12r. While he square root of 1156 x squared is 34x. So 12r equal to 34x. 12r is 6r times 2. While 34x is 17x times 2. This 2 cancels this 2. So 6r equal to 17x. Let's square both sides of the equation again. Here, 6r all squared is 36r squared, while here, 17x all squared is 289x squared. So, 36r squared equal to 289x squared. Now, come to this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. We use the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle, which is this here. So by Pythagoras, 18 squared equal to 9x all squared plus 9r all squared. 18 is 9 times 2. 9 times 2 all squared is 81 times 4. Here, 9x all squared is 81x squared. And 9r all squared is 81r squared. From 81x squared plus 81r squared, we can factor out 81. So it is 81 into x squared plus r squared. This 81 eliminates this 81. So 4 equal to x squared plus r squared. That is x squared plus r squared equal to 4. We multiply both sides of the equation by 36. Here x squared plus r squared all multiplied by 36 is 36 x squared plus 36 r squared. While here 4 times 36 is 144. Recall here 36 r squared equal to 289 x squared. Replace this 36 r squared with 289 x squared. 36 x squared plus 289 x squared is 325. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here, 325 x squared is 25 x squared times 13. Square root of 25 x squared times 13 is 5 x times root 13, which is 5 x root 13. While here, square root of 144 is 12. So 5x root 13 equal to 12. Multiply both sides of the equation by root 13. Here root 13 times root 13 is 13. 5x times 13 is 65x. While here 12 times root 13 is 12 root 13. So 65x equal to 12 root 13. Multiply both sides of the equation by 65. Here, 65 cancels 65. So, x equal to 12 root 13 all over 65. Come here, substitute it. 12 root 13 all over 65 all squared is 144 times 13 all over 65 squared. Recall, 65 is 5 times 13. 5 times 13 all squared is 25 times 13 squared. 13 squared is 13 times 13. This 13 cancels this 13. 25 times 13 is 325. So it is 144 all over 325. This 144 is 36 times 4. This 36 cancels this 36. 
So R squared equal to 289 times 4 over 325. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here, square root of R squared is R. While here, square root of 289 times 4 over 325 is 17 times 2 over 5 root 13. 17 times 2 is 34. So R equal to 34 over 5 root 13. Now back to this triangle. If we take this side as its base, this must be the height. So base equal to 9R plus 16R, which is 25R. And height equal to 25X plus 9X, which is 34X. Formula for area of triangle is 1 over 2 base times height. We have the values here. Substitute them. 25R times 34X Rx. We have the values of R and X here. Insert them. 1 over 2 times 850 times 34 over 5 root 13 times 12 root 13 all over 65. 1 over 2 times 850 is 425. This root 13 cancels this root 13. This 65 is 5 times 13. This 5 multiplied by this is 25. 425 divided by 25 is 17. 17 times 34 times 12 is 6,936. So area of triangle PQR equal to 6,936 all over 13 square units. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Thank you.